There's a theatrical element to hats, and I think that's perhaps why people are a little afraid of wearing a hat. But on the other hand, it's exciting. It changes your day if you leave with a hat on. That actually changes perhaps something about you for the day. The hat needs to speak to the clothes. You can have a beautiful hat on, but if it doesn't work with what you have on, then honestly it's a non-starter. I'm very lucky to have what I have, this little house, which allows me to have all my things around me. I have a workspace under the house, which is big and messy. But we're here in Helensville, it's quiet, and the people of Helensville have really facilitated what I do. When I'm thinking about a hat, there's a moment, there's a vision, and honestly, it drives me. I have to make it. Um, I then decide, how is this going to work? What materials am I going to need? So there's a lot of experimentation required. And once I've experimented sufficiently, I then decide how is this technically to be done so that it will hold the shape, so that it will feel good on the head and look balanced. So that's the process. And it's, it's brushing them like it's one stroke and then keep just stroking them and it keeps all coming up over Helen's book community. Oh, they, Sharon has been an amazing lady. I just <laughs> love her enthusiasm. Um, she makes uh, the wool that I use, because I'm, I make handmade hats, start from scratch, start from the wool that she creates, uh, that she washes, puts her fabulous old machine, and honestly, she has uh, helped me to learn about wool, she helped me learn how to felt, she is a remarkable woman. John Browner is a local, he's a Kiwi and has made, lives in Helensville and has made so many things for me. Without a hat block you really can't make hats and John can make a hat block. John is an amazing craftsman, he can produce almost anything. He's made hat stands for me, he has made beautiful hat blocks. I take him an item and he can finish that for me in any type of wood. I really couldn't do what I do without John. Hats have been forever for me. Um, there's a funny story where uh, I was sitting in the bath and my mom came in and she started to laugh and I said, well, what's so funny? Fully unclothed, in the bath, but you still have your hat on. So I guess I've always worn hats. <laughs> That's kind of how it is.